Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. This time we're looking at uh, this thing, that white little uh, dongle there. It's an Xbox 360 controller adapter for a PC. So you plug it into a USB port and you can sync up with a little button there. You can see the little button in the middle of it. Press that down, it flashes to show it's in sync mode. Press the button on your Xbox 360 controller, that flashes and then the two pair up. But as you can see, the LED on the left hand side of it is not lit. Uh, now this has been an ongoing problem with this, I've repaired this previously, there was a little ferrite bead that had burnt out previously and I think I just wire linked it, bridged over it. So uh, it's doing the same sort of thing intermittently on this new PC I've got here. Um, I'll perhaps uh, show you in another video, maybe, if anybody's interested. Let me know below, are you interested in seeing my PC build? It's, it's quite high spec, I've managed to go quite high spec, I did have a bit of redundancy money left over to cover it and had to you know, borrow a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've gone high spec because I need it for my job, I need it for YouTube, I need it for everything really. Anyway, without further ado, let's unplug that and uh, get inside it. So as you can see, uh, lots of uh, components here. This is stuff for the Archimedes, so let's just uh, shift all this out of the way. Lots and lots of components. As you can imagine, those are going to need loads. Um, let's have a look at the little fella. So you can see, to get inside this, it's kind of press fitted. You know, you can see this little mark there. Can you see that where I've been in this in the past? One up here, look. So, uh, yeah, it's a case of getting something uh, sharp. Now, I may have super glued this, I don't know. I know, look, it's just coming apart there. That just comes off. And uh, there's the little PCB. There's hardly anything on it, as you can imagine there, there wouldn't be, really. Um, now it could be, can you see that? It's like a, a bit of an angle there, maybe that's just the way it's plugged in. Yeah, it could be the solder points there, but I think unlikely because it does have a grommet. Um, but I do vaguely remember... How did I get this out last time? Does this, yeah, this slides up here, look. And then the board is held in with a couple of screws. Let's get these two screws out. And as I say, I vaguely remember bodge fixing this with a piece of coil wire. Um, I just can't see where. Is it here maybe? Yeah, it is. can you see that? It says F1. Yeah, I'll macro there. Can you see? It's just a piece of coil wire. It's in a bit of a loop. That wasn't very uh, clean. That wasn't my cleanest bit of work. But it's on there. Um, it's just a zero ohm link. That's all it is. It says F1. It's probably, it probably indicates that it's actually supposed to be a fuse. Um, so I've got some zero ohm links. I think I'm going to remove the old component and the bit of wire fits a uh, new zero ohm link. But you can just bridge that. This is a common fault on these. I had a few friends uh, who had the same problem with these back in the day and I think I fixed theirs in a similar way. The other thing I was going to do is just reflow these. I don't know whether you can see, you can see my nails need cutting, uh, they always do. Um, yeah, yeah, they just look, these, the, the, the second from the end here, not the first, maybe even the first one, they just look a little bit crusty. I, I think with the cable relief here, it's unlikely that that's got pressed or pulled or whatever, but it just doesn't look good. And the fact that the fuse went to start with just makes me wonder if that's the issue, because I see nothing else wrong with this, all the other solder points look good. So anyway, we'll just get the, I'll show you, we'll get the solder on there, just drag that mess off there and just fit a new zero ohm link and a little bit of flux on there, just reflow those and just come plug it in and see if it works. So by heating both sides at the same time, I managed to just uh, pull it off there, out of the way. It's actually still there, still there, can you see that? There we go, now it's off. <laughs> I thought I'd removed it, it's so small, it's very difficult to see it. So let's just uh, heat that again, just gently. There we go. Can you see uh, the pads there, just about? Nice and clean. So uh, I'll get a new zero ohm link. Now what I've got, I had some old uh, cable modems or something that I uh, scrapped. They were really old, crusty things. Uh, and I took off all these components here and there were loads of zero ohm links, they're always useful. And I got one there, I can see it, it's tiny. Yeah, hopefully you can just about see that. It's just the right size, it says zero on it, it's a zero ohm link. So we'll just get that on there. So I've got that in position. I'm literally going to uh, bring the iron in. I'm going to hold it with my nail here. Oh, easier said than done. It's so small. That is absolutely tiny. 
Yeah, I think that'll do. And we can just get a little bit of solder onto the other side. I should have a smaller tip on this for this, really. There we go. I'll add a little bit of flux on to uh, reflow these in a sec. Yeah, there we go. So I've added a tiny bit of uh, flux there. I'll just remove the solder from the tip. Uh, apologies, you can't really see very well. And um, we'll just literally bob into those like that. That's that side done. And I think that's that side done. Yeah, there we go. So, as I say, we'll get a tiny bit of flux on there as well. We don't need a lot. I can just uh, rub that there. So I've cleaned the solder off the tip. Uh, and I'm just going to have a drag down this way, I think. The temperature is quite low on the iron as well. I'm deliberately using a low temperature. That's worked okay. So that's reflowed. Uh, I got a bit of solder. Can you see on that uh, gold rim that goes around the outside there? That might be the uh, antenna. So uh, yeah, you really don't want extra bits of solder and stuff on that. Although it probably won't make much difference because it's about the length rather than the uh, you know thickness of it. But we'll just remove that little bit of uh, solder from there with a bit of braid as well just to make sure that it isn't causing any kind of issue it's just where I touched it there we go that should do so I've got a cotton bud with some 99.9% .9 IPA here and uh, we just have a little wipe around there I think the thing ultimately that causes these to fail is if you plug it in whilst the uh, power's there you know it's like that little surge in uh, current when you connect it up can cause that little fuse to go there I don't think that would have been causing the issue but you know what it's the only thing I can see on there that could be uh, part of the issue and they didn't look that great but as you can see it looks alright now so after cleaning up you can see we've replaced the fuse there F1 and on the other side here you can see we've reflowed the connections there they look really nice now it's just unfortunate I've got a bit of solder on there but anyway let's uh, reassemble it now so uh, which way did it go so it went this way around didn't it and the grommet goes in there like that so I just need to push the board in place just get the little screws back in and stick the lid back on the LED is here which corresponds with that there so uh, yeah I might have had a bit of super glue now it clips back on look so yeah you can just clip that out but you might need a bit of glue just to support it but that'll do let's go and plug it in and see if it works so it's a bit of a stretch, if I hold that like that and then plug that into here, let's see what happens, oh, there you go, has it gone off again, there you go, it goes off and then it goes on as it sinks, but you can see that that is now working, so yeah, success. So apologies, it was a short video, I've got some more videos coming soon, catch it in the next video.